Hello, the energy prices have soared up so much in the past year that they are four times the price of 2021. There is uncertainty about the future. Gas supplies are short and we're looking at a long hot winter ahead. The question is, what is the best investment to counter this unprecedented situation? In what way should I invest minimum to get maximum returns? To be more specific, should I invest in solar PV or should I invest in solar thermal heaters? The simple answer is, if you live in a cold climate country, then solar thermal is the most cost effective option for you. The reason is that in winters, almost 60% of the energy consumption goes into providing your heating. If we can capture solar energy to meet even a small portion of our heating or hot water requirement, it goes a long way in saving us gas or electricity bills. One can also install a solar PV system. However, if the end use of electricity is to provide heat, then we are much better off using a solar water heating system. An evacuated tube collector can capture almost four times more energy compared to solar PV on the same area. The other benefit of solar water heating system is that it is cheaper compared to solar PV. The evacuated tube collectors are incredibly efficient in capturing sun rays. They act as a thermal diode. Once solar rays are captured, they are locked in. And the only way for the energy to escape is as heat in the incoming water. You can get a brand new set of 10 evacuated tube solar water heaters with a stand for around $300. Because many of the evacuated tube collectors come with a stand, you do not need a rooftop installation. The evacuated tube collector can be installed in your garden. If you want to use hot water directly, for example in the kitchen to wash dishes, then plumbing is relatively easy. Cold water supply from the mains can be connected to the water heater tank and the outgoing water can be brought in through a pipe. The use of insulated pipes is recommended and so is an inline thermometer that indicates water temperature. During the summer, the temperatures can exceed 85 degrees centigrade and can cause burns. The output from the evacuated tube water heater can also be connected to a hot water tank. In some cases, water can be fed to the heater. In other cases, a closed loop heat exchanger is used to bring in heat to the hot water cylinder. If you have a combi boiler with no hot water tank, then the only way evacuated tube collector can be used is by a direct supply. Bear in mind there are two different types of evacuated tube collectors. One contains a heat pipe and an absorber plate. The heat pipe can carry glycol and once the glycol gets heated, it accumulates in the bulb. This bulb portion then exchanges heat with the water. In the other type of evacuated tube, a U-shaped tube runs water directly into the evacuated tube and absorbs heat. Both these collectors were expensive, but in recent times, they have become cheaper. To date, the evacuated tube solar water heaters are the highest value for money option as far as renewable energy generators are concerned. So if you cannot afford PV, you don't have to worry there is a much better and cheaper solution out there for you. And it is the evacuated tube solar water heater. And with this, the video is concluded. Thank you for your attention.